the shown series, RLC electric circuit, is excited by a sinusoidal source. By selecting the source frequency at 439 Hz, the circuit operates in resonance, and the amplitude of the oscillations is maximum. The quality factor determines the magnitude of the overvoltage. When the source is turned off, the circuit vibrates at its own frequency, which is called the natural frequency. The oscillations decrease exponentially with a time constant of 37.3 milliseconds and disappear in about five time constants. Exactly the same damped oscillations occur in the electric circuit when it is excited by a step voltage. The tuning fork is a mechanical system which behaves identically to the RLC circuit. Each tuning fork has its own vibration frequency. By hitting the shown tuning fork, it vibrates at its natural frequency and produces sound waves with a frequency of 439 Hz. Because the damping is small, the tuning fork vibrates for many seconds. The tuning fork can also be stimulated using sound waves. In this case, the frequency of the sound waves must be equal to the natural frequency of the tuning fork. The stimulation of the tuning fork is based on resonance and corresponds to the excitation of the RLC circuit with a sinusoidal source. In correspondence with the tuning fork, by striking the illustrated wine glass, we measure the fundamental natural frequency at 341.7 Hz and the next highest at 960.2 Hz. Note that, the highest mode frequency is not a multiple, namely a harmonic, of the fundamental frequency. The glass is stimulated using a loudspeaker and an audio power amplifier. Stroboscopic lighting is used to show the rapid vibrations of the glass in apparent slow motion. The amplifier provides a maximum voltage of 30 volts RMS to the loudspeaker. Although the glass vibrates very strongly, it does not shatter because the oscillations are less than its elastic limit. <laughs> 